guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have got another Topshop haul for you. It's been a while since I've done my last one. I wanted to grab a few more kind of cozy knits, stuff like that. So I've got a couple of those coming your way. Uh, yeah, as per usual, just gonna be doing try on, reviewing the kind of quality, fit, price, all that jazz. So let's just dive in. First up, I got this really cool utility style jumpsuit. It's in this kind of khaki color. Love the style of this. It's that kind of shirt material that's really, really soft, like a thick material. Really nice, love the color. Quality is really, really good on this. I got this in a size 18. It was ever so slightly tight on my thighs. So I'd say it's the ickiest bit too small, but Apart from that, it pretty much runs to size. Uh, yeah, I love that there's a drawstring kind of waistband that you can cinch it in. For me, that's like really important, especially with this kind of style jumpsuit. But yeah, I just absolutely loved it. Like I said, got it in a size 18. Um, I think this is in the sale. So this is actually in the sale. It was £49, which is crazy expensive and it's in the sale for 34 pounds so at 49 pounds i don't think it's really worth it but for 34 pounds i do actually think this is really worth it for a really nice kind of robust jumpsuit that you can wear every single day that's definitely worth it and quality in top shop from my experience has always been really good i've had stuff from there that's lasted years and years and years and yeah this seems to be really big, really good quality as well I grabbed this dress so I thought this looked really cool so it's basically just a kind of ribbed bodycon style dress the reason I love it is because it's acid wash I do love a bit of kind of acid wash I think it looks really cool love this color now the fit of this was not great so this is actually from the tool section and I dread to think what it would be like if it wasn't in the tool section I'm five foot seven so i mean i don't think i'm overly tall but i don't think i'm short either but this felt really really short on me and i do like it and the quality is really good but it's very much a box there's no shape to it whatsoever and what i found is that it actually felt really kind of tight around my legs and my bum and then up top it was really baggy so it was just so unflattering on me i do love the dress but yeah, that it just lacked loads of shape. And I kind of knew that would happen because if I look at the picture on the model, even on her, it looks really, really boxy as well. And she's quite a straight cut. So yeah, I mean, I just like the acid wash. I thought I'd give it a go um, and it just didn't really fit right on me. I do like it though. When I did try this on with the denim jacket, I thought it looked really cool. If it fit better then yes, I would like it. I got it in a size, 16 and it actually came up quite big i was expecting it to be a bit more figure hugging uh anyway so this is in the sale so it was 19 pounds which i do think is quite expensive for what is essentially a long vest uh but i got it in the sale for six pounds so for six pounds i think that is really really good value like i said the quality is really good it's a nice kind of thick ribbed material I, I do honestly just love this kind of really worn out look as well. I think it looks so cool. I'm just glad that it didn't seem to go in and out whatsoever because if it did, that would be perfection. So if you want something that's a little straighter cut, then 100% go for it. I, they don't really have many sizes left. They've only got a 14 and a 16 left online. Um, but obviously stuff comes in and out of stock all the time. But yeah, if you're more curvy, you're gonna run into problems. I got a bodysuit. I hate bodysuits. I don't even know why I got this bodysuit. I think I just really like the look of it. So it's this. This is what took me out. I really liked this high neckline and the ring detail with the zip. I thought that was really cool and I really like this color as well. And I got it despite it being a bodysuit because I just struggle to understand the purpose of a bodysuit. They just seem really ridiculous to me. Um, 
so yeah fit wise I got this in a 16 and actually it's a bit difficult because I'm kind of like a 16 18 on bottom and then like I don't know 14 16 ish probably more of a 16 on top so I wasn't really sure what size to go for. So I just went for a 16 so it fit on top. And actually I was worried about it being able to fit my bum in it, but it wasn't really an issue. There seemed to be plenty of room. Um, so yeah, not really a problem. I just, yeah, the, the main fit issue. So basically I'd say it's like sizing's probably accurate, if not a little bit big. The only problem I kind of felt was that this bit was a bit gapy. I kind of felt like you could see down the side of the top, which is a bit weird. I definitely wore this with the wrong bra, so ignore the bra that I'm wearing. But I don't know, and I just don't think it was the most flattering. I do like it. The quality is really good. It's nice and thick and elasticy, And I do absolutely love this zip. And I like that you can kind of, oh, can't even unzip it. I like that you can kind of open it up and change the way you wear it. If you want to get a bit boob out, get a bit boob out. If you want to cover it up, just zip it up. You know, so I thought that was really good. I'm just torn, like I do like it, but at the same time I'm like, why are you just not a t-shirt? Like a vest. Why do you have to be a bodysuit? There are little poppery doodads. So I guess that makes it easier for going to the toilet. I just don't find them the most comfortable. I'd rather just... This is something that I would wear with high-waisted jeans. I'd rather just have a top and tuck it into jeans. I understand that the top can ride up, but I think I'd still rather have that. Anyway, this is actually, by the way, this comes in black as well for anyone who does not like this color. Um, it's 19 pounds. Oh, I don't know, basically, if it was a, a kind of vest top, I would actually pay that because I like I like this and I think it looks a bit different. Um, but it's not it's a bodysuit. And do you know what? I have one bodysuit, one bodysuit that kind of won me over, decided to keep it. I've never worn it. It's still sat in my drawer. I don't want to kind of throw it away, give it to charity or anything because I've not worn it yet. And I feel like I should. But I just do not understand the point of a bodysuit. I just find them really annoying and just a pain when you want to go to the toilet or just do anything. So, yeah, just on the fence about this, just on the fence. Bringing you some more autumnal colors. I got this long sleeve top, which has, oh, get out of the way, please. Has this little ring detail in the middle here. Um, it's this kind of, do you know what? Lots of stuff that I'm buying at the moment seems to be this kind of ribbed, t-shirty material i am really loving it i don't know if that's maybe it's in is it in so yeah i got this top really comfortable got it in a size 16 i'd say sizing was spot on um i don't know if i'm in love with this on me it is a really nice top i just don't i don't know um this ring thing i i don't know where it's meant to sit on the model she's you know, obviously really really slim as per most of the Topshop models so it's difficult when you've got bigger boobs to know where is this meant to sit you meant to have it down there and have a bit of cleave on the go you meant to pull it up kind of I guess you can wear it any way you want which is kind of cool but I was kind of pulling it around just thinking where is that meant to sit um yeah quality on this is really good as well the only thing is actually, this is from the tool section. So when you buy it online, it gives you the choice to purchase it in tool or regular. So they do have a regular version as well. Um, I, yeah, so I got it in tool. It's slightly cropped. So I, I Googled what tool means to Topshop. It's five foot nine plus. So I'm five seven, I technically don't fall into the tool category. And I thought this, considering it was a tall, I don't know, like it was quite cropped for a tall top. On the model, it looks like it would be longer. She's got it tucked into jeans, so it's kind of difficult to look. But I was expecting it to be longer. So I wouldn't say it was longer in the body, but it was extremely long in the arms. I had to roll them up by a couple of inches because yeah, it was just kind of bunching up a little bit. So 
if you are going to shop in the tall section just bear that in mind that it doesn't seem to get longer in the body just in the arms from what I've kind of seen uh, but yeah so price wise this was oh wow I didn't even realize how cheap this was so it's originally £16 which I actually think that's pretty good pricing anyway for a long sleeve top that has a nice little detailing on it uh, but it's in the sale for £5 Oh my gosh, if you get the regular one, why did I not know this? Oh, it's because I don't have my size. Okay, so basically if you get the regular one, it's three pounds in this color, but they only have a size four, but they also do it in a um, kind of creamy color, which I actually prefer. And they also do it in a kind of dark minty green as well, which is actually really, really nice. So if you go for the regular, option then you've got a few more choices there um yeah i think personally if i were to reorder i'd just get it in the regular size and get it in the cream because this color is really really nice but i always order stuff and then think i know i just won't wear it as much as if it was a bit more of a neutral color because i'm boring i have been searching for one of these for ages and i thought it'd be easier to find so oh, it's inside out uh, um, it's a racer style tee, but it's not, it's all like, I don't know how you explain it. it. Normally it's a really racer tee. Makes no sense. Okay. So it, it basically comes in loads. <laughs> so you have a lot of shoulder out because some of the ra racer tees I saw didn't come in that much. And I wanted one that specifically came in so this is the bit that goes over your shoulder. It's a really small band here. Um, oh, what does this say? Oh, Lycra. It's got Lycra technology in it. That's cool. Um, so yeah, I got the black one. Like I said, I've just been looking for something very specific and this was it uh, for quite a while. I just wanted a really nice sort of black racer tee to be able to wear with sort of high-waisted skirts, jeans, things like that, and be able to layer it up. The quality of this, amazing. It is so soft. So again, no idea if you'll be able to see it. It's ribbed um, kind of vest material, but it's really nice and light, loose, kind of, it's just really soft. I didn't see before that it had that Lycra stuff in there. So that's good to know. It's a, I got it in size 16. I'd say, if anything, it was a little bit roomy, by the way, when I tried this on, I was really lazy. I couldn't be bothered to change into my strapless bra or like a multi-way bra, which is what I would wear with it. So I just hooked off my bra straps and kind of tucked them in. So if my bra looks a little bit weird when I tried it on, that's why. Uh, but yeah, it was quite, it was roomier than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it'd definitely be a lot tighter than it was, um, but I quite like that anyway, I don't mind. So I, yeah. Say so size wise probably spot on if not a little bit roomy but depends how you want to wear it and price wise by the way they also do this in white uh price wise this was nine pounds so yeah i do you know what it's exactly what i want and it's one of those basics that you just kind of like need to have in your wardrobe so i think the price is really good for this because the fabric is amazing got some more utility stuff to show you guys so we've got this uh green kind of utility shirt that has two pockets on the front again material on this really really smooth really nice kind of very similar to that first jump 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 shoot jumpsuit that i showed you uh yeah do you know what with top shop i just feel like most of the time you know what you're gonna get it's gonna be good quality it's just more to do with how much it costs. So I got this in a 16. This is actually a shorter style shirt, which I really liked because it means that you can kind of tuck it into the front of your jeans, do a French tuck and wear it with a belt, show your belt off. I really like that. And also if you have curves, being able to wear it with high-waisted jeans and kind of tuck the front in just gives you a bit more shape rather than a shirt like this is quite boxy and I feel like for me it can kind of it kind of takes away your shape if you've got curves and you go in and out to then chuck something boxy on can just make you look a bit bruh so 
yeah, I like that it's easy to kind of tie up, tuck in, whatever you want. Or sometimes these tops are a bit too long to do that. So I did really love that. Come if I said this got in 16, and I'd say sizing was spot on. The quality is really good. It's nice and soft. Uh, price wise, what is the price? So 29 quid. Yeah, it's not too bad. I feel like I'm not totally in love with it enough to spend that money on it but I'd say it definitely is worth it because the quality is really good. So it just depends what you're looking for. Oh my gosh, this is incredible. Oh, so I got this, um, it's basically a cropped hoodie and it's a teddy bear hoodie and I love it. It's so cozy. I wasn't entirely sure when I bought it. I kind of thought, oh, I don't know if I like it. And oh, honestly, this is the most cozy, soft jumper you will ever put on in your whole entire life. If you don't believe me, go try it on because this is so cozy. Uh, it's basically, it's cropped. And what I love is that it's not really cropped because I have quite a few jumpers which are really cropped and especially in winter, you don't want like a massive chunk of your belly hanging out. So it's cropped, but not cropped enough that if you were to wear it with high-waisted jeans that you would be showing any skin. So I loved that. Um, yeah, it's really nice and thick. It's like properly lined inside, as you can see. Quality is just really good. I absolutely love this. I'm really kind of torn because I don't realistically know how much I would ever wear this but did i feel like a snow queen in it yeah yeah i did so oh this like need and want I, I want it do i need it would i wear it a lot probably not but i really want it so i got it in a size i hate it when they size like this i got it in a medium slash large so the sizes that you do in this are Extra small slash small, use your words always, small slash medium or medium slash large. And I just think, why do you not just do small, medium, large? Like, I don't know why you've got to do brackets like that. It's just, I find it really annoying. Uh, so yeah, medium slash large. Normally I'd be more of like a large or an extra large. I thought this fit perfectly. I mean, it wasn't really big and baggy if that's what you want. But yeah, I, I liked the way that it fit. I felt really comfortable in it. I wouldn't want it any bigger. Oh, can't stop touching it. Uh, price wise. Right, so I'm not gonna lie. This, uh, this is what's putting me off keeping it. So if this was like 20 quid, I would keep it because I do really love it. And I did just wanna buy it just to try it out and see if I actually liked it, which is annoying because I do. And it's £35. So that, I mean, that is quite a lot of money for a cropped hoodie. This does come in other colours as well. So it comes in a light pink. I personally didn't really like the light pink. It wasn't like a really nice little blush pink. It was more of like a, it seemed a bit too bright. And also a kind of light greenish colour. I definitely think the cream was by far the nicest out of all of them but each to their own um yeah right last up if you guys haven't been able to tell so far i am pretty chuffed with this haul they have some really nice stuff there's another thing that i have been looking for for what feels like a million years and it's just a really nice soft jumper that's the right kind of length for me me to be able to tuck it into the front of my jeans it uh, seems like such a silly thing, but it's what I wanted. And I have found one. Um, so I got this. It's just a really nice, soft kind of woolen knit jumper. You have this kind of deep, I don't even know if you can see it. it has like kind of perforated, deep, I don't know why I did that, perforated kind of detail in the front. So you have this little kind of hole pattern. Uh, this is really nice and soft, really, really nice and soft. I got it in a size large. I thought it fit perfectly. And basically, it's ever, I don't know if you can see, 
ever so slightly cropped. So it's not a cropped jumper, but it's not a full length jumper. I'd say it's kind of in between. And it means that it's perfect to be able to kind of tuck it in the front, wear it with a belt, like I said earlier, for one of the bits, the shirt, I think I said that on, I can't remember. Anyway, so you can tuck it in at the front and kind of pull it up a bit because I feel this goes back to what I said about if you're curving, you go in and out. Sometimes when you wear big jumpers like this, it can just really bulk you up and you lose your shape and your curves. So it's nice to be able to kind of pull stuff up, tuck it in, kind of do stuff with it to make sure you've still got your curves on the go. So yeah, absolutely love this. So this does come in a few different colours. They have a really vibrant kind of bright orange, which is really, really cool. Not quite my style. I wouldn't really wear it enough. And then you obviously have the grey and there's a cream colour as well, which is really nice. So I just had a look. I got this in a large. It's the equivalent of a size 16. I'd say the sizing is perfect. Absolutely spot on. They do go up to an XL as well. But yeah, absolutely love this. Honestly, this is so soft. And price wise, this is £29. It's the kind of thing where if it was from another store, I probably wouldn't do it. But I would, I think that's a really reasonable, reasonable price. I can't get my words out today. A really reasonable price for a Topshop jumper and especially one that is this soft. Honestly, I can't tell you how soft it is. It's just, the, it, I just looked, it's called a pointel, pointel knit jumper. Yeah, absolutely love that. So this is gonna be one of my kind of staples throughout this kind of autumn, winter. Right, that is everything from me. So a couple of really, really nice bits in there that I'm absolutely chuffed with and a couple of bits that I've been searching for for such a long time. So I'm glad I kind of stumbled upon them. Um, to summarize, kind of sizing has been pretty spot on. There's been nothing like dramatically badly sized that I would say. And as per usual, Topshop, like I said before, you just kind of know what you're gonna get. The quality is always really, really good. So I understand why some of the prices are a little bit higher than you would expect in other stores, but generally speaking, I definitely think that it is worth it. I, I am a massive fan of Topshop. And as per usual, I'll be leaving all the links for everything down below if you do wanna go check them out. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel. And if you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I will see you guys next time. <laughs>